it's David Beebe, I'm back here again at Sound Effects Premier in Ormskirk and I'm here to give you a quick look at Boss's new flagship amp modeler and guitar effects processor, the GT1000. So the naming of the GT1000 has its roots in a long history of GT series processors, but really this is a, a ground up reinvention of some of Boss's core technologies um, for amp modeling, effects algorithms, and also really where this is intended to sit within the market. This is a, a much higher priced unit than we're used to seeing from Boss, but it really is um, a premium device um, from its construction to its feature set. Um, and really to my mind, it has far more in common with perhaps the 500 series of pedals, um, the delay, the reverb and the modulation um, 500 series that, that were really re more recently released yet yeah, to great, great acclaim. <laughs> It's 32-bit, 96 kilohertz throughout, and features Boss's brand new DSP chip. It also features their brand new AIRD technology, or AIRD, and let me get this right, it stands for Augmented Impulse Response Dynamics, which is very important, and we'll, we'll come to more of that in a moment. It has a huge selection of very high-end effects. In fact, you get all of the effects algorithms from the DD500, the RV500, and the MD500, which is very cool inclusion. Uh, it's got uh, very flexible signal chains and a signal path, so you can have multiple combinations of uh, series and parallel effects. You can have two amps at once to switch between two different amps seamlessly. Um, you can have two of the same amp and have different settings to use it as different channels like on an amp. Almost every um, function can be controlled and assigned to the foot switches which takes its cues from the, uh, the ES8, which I'm a big, big fan of, the ped big pedal switcher. It's got a really cool looper functionality um, and implementation. The other thing which is definitely unique to this unit at the moment is the Bluetooth technology. So what you can do is hook it up to your mobile device and then control, again, pretty much every aspect of the unit Shortly after the release, I think this drops in the UK in May, there's also going to be um, PC and Mac software, the Tone Studio, to be able to edit, um, edit the tones on your PC, um, update firmware, and also to be able to load um, third-party impulse responses into it as well, which is very, very cool. Other interesting additions are polyphonic tuner and a metronome, which again can be controlled and assigned to the foot switches, which, which is a really cool idea that I'd never thought about before and could be really useful for practicing and all kinds of recording applications. So as you can tell, this is an extremely powerful, fully featured unit and we don't have time in one video to go through, even scratch the surface of what this is capable of. So what we're gonna to do today is just give you a quick brief overview of the input outputs um, talk a little bit about the air technology and then give you some sound examples of some of the presets. <laughs> So when I unboxed this, I was really surprised, twice in fact, because it's really quite small and compact, um, but it's got a bit of a weight to it and it's very, very rugged and well made. Um, it's got a great low profile um, and the design of this is very, very nice. It has a large um, display, easy cl clear to read, um, brushed aluminium knobs, that also um, are buttons. It's got these uh, 10 um, reinforced uh, foot switches that are not going to break if you kick them um, and you use the knobs and these other buttons to move around the user interface. 
Um, so on the back of the I.O. we've got guitar input, um, the main outs, um, and also we've got these sub outs here. And this is where the cool stuff with the air technology comes into play, I'll talk about in a moment. But you can send this out to your amplifier, for example, and then these out to the PA or recording device and have different um, aired settings on both. We've got uh, headphones, two send and returns, so you can ha have either two um, different send and returns chains with mono or you could use stereo um, send and returns there. And we've got more jacks for uh, external control and expression in addition to the expression pedal that's on the front. Um, we've then got an amp control, so you can channel switch, um, use the unit to channel switch on your amp. The USB for connecting up to your computer, as I mentioned before, um, it, coming in May you'll be able to edit the tones from um, the to to Boss Tone Studio and load um, third party IRs. It's got MIDI in and out and the power switch. And yeah, so it's a very um, premium design, it's a very nice design and it's very well made. So the really key thing here that's differentiating this from all of the previous Boss products and pretty much everything else that's on the market is the AS technology, this augmented impulse response dynamics. So it has the impulse response, but then also this dynamic element to it. What Boss is saying is that they're not just looking at the input, the preamp, the power amp, transformers and speaker going in that direction and modeling and mimicking that but also the, the speaker interaction that's coming back onto the hardware. And that is what is um, supposedly creating this great tube amp feel and when we're playing a great tube amp. And that's what the air technology is mimicking. And it really does feel incredibly well to play. Um, I think all of these things with the sound is very subjective um, and that's very easily translatable on, on video. What's harder to do is to show how something feels. You've got to try it for yourself. But what I've really tried to do in the playing examples is dig in in multiple different ways um, to show how the notes feed back at correct pitches. The note decays um, very naturally and organically. Uh, you can have a glassy clean tone that has sustain to it without being compressed. And these are all aspects of what you would associate with a, with a, a great ch feeling tube amp. And this is pretty much the closest I've come playing as a, in a modeling unit to getting the, a great feel. Um, it really is quite impressive. Okay, so I've nattered on for quite a bit now and there's still loads to talk about, so we've barely scratched the surface. And I do hope to do some more in-depth how-to tutorial videos on this at, when it's released in May. But for now, let's do some playing. And what I'm going to do is go through a selection of the presets. I'm not tweaking anything right yet. I just want to show you how it sounds um, and try as best I can with, with some of the playing examples to convey this, this dynamic response and just how it um, it's just gradually, there's a gradual continuum of, of um, overdrive to, to, to clean and just really hopefully that comes across in the playing. So thanks for watching, my name is David Beebe and I'm here at Sound Effects Premier in Ormskirk. <laughs>